Are you a high ticket coach looking for new ways to reach potential clients? Then stories can be a powerful tool for attracting and converting leads. By leveraging the features of Instagram and Facebook stories, you can create engaging content that showcase your expertise and of course attract the attention of your ideal clients. In this video, we will explore the strategies and the tactics you can use to sell high ticket coaching services through stories, including tips on how to create compelling content, build relationships with your followers, and also convert leads into high paying clients. Get ready to take your coaching business to the next level with stories. Welcome to my channel. My name is Berk and I help coaches attract pre-sold clients without using paid ads. With stories, you want to post around six to eight stories a day to show presence. Among these stories, implement strategies like AVR, IERV, strategies that we will explore at the end of the video. You want to do that every day. People will not often become your clients like from the first time seeing your story, but maybe the seventh, the eighth, the tenth, or who knows, maybe even later, they might become your clients. So you want to repeat on a daily basis and show up consistently. Show up that you are an active and also an expert. To show results, however, you first need to acquire some results if you don't have. So if you don't have any results, I would advise you to grab a few testimonials by doing a free work. Then you want to use those results in your marketing. It is crucial to show your results as well as your students' results. Once you go on a coaching call with someone, you can record his progress and make an analysis to the post on your story and just showing his progress. Don't underestimate stories. I honestly think you should spend as much time and effort creating high quality stories as well as high quality feed posts. With the stories, you have six ways that you you can utilize them. First of all, you want to upload a new post and then you can share it on your stories. You want to hype it up by adding a bit of curiosity and a reason for people to tap in. For example, check this post, like read the caption to find value in this. Like this is a great way to increase post engagement and reach to more people through the feed post and of course convert those people into clients. Second way you can utilize stories is by uploading a story, for example, every three hours. And again, this is just just an example. Why? Because by doing this and not uploading all of your stories at the same time, you consistently put out your stories at the top of your followers feed, which will of course give more attention to the stories. And of course, the more viewers you have, the more chance you have of converting people into clients. Third way you can increase your story engagement by running daily or weekly polls, questions, quizzes, Q and A's that provokes discussions relevant to your niche. Another hack that you can use is to use hashtags in your stories to increase views. Like you can add up to 10 hashtags, but I would suggest using one, two, three hashtags per story. The fifth way to utilize stories is by showing your followers something that they won't see in your feed. It can be something from behind the scenes or what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life. This adds lots of credibility and authority. That's actually what I do on my personal brand. I'm using it for showing my day-to-day -day life and showing the background of what it is really of running a consulting business. Of course, you can drop me a follow at Business GMP and see what it is like and how you can use them for your coaching business. And the last way to utilize stories is of course by providing value. It could be like motivation, inspiring message, or just a practical tip and a good piece of valuable information. It is super important to provide as much value as possible, not only in your content, but also in your stories. And this will actually make people see you as an authority figure and expert in your niche. Now you may ask yourself like, when should I upload my content? When should I upload my stories? I would recommend minimum one story every day because you want to be consistent. Maximum is around seven. Of course, you can go with more, depend on what your niche is. Again, these are just a general row of thumb. Just use them as a guidance, not as a strict thing. Like my setup is I upload every two hours. I try to upload around four stories per day. Sometimes I go more, sometimes I do less. The whole idea here is to be consistent with your stories. And now we're going to dive into the story selling strategies. The first one, 
one is two x four story strategy what this strategy is all about the first story is you know for example posting current news from the media or just giving a valuable information in your niche something new that can educate your audience second story can be a viral content from other pages again that maybe educates your audience that give them additional value the third one is modified yes and no pools uh, and the last one is a free shout out with a similar page. Like this strategy works really well, not for selling, but for growing an audience. And of course, when we grow an audience, we can also sell this audience, audience later on. Like this strategy can be used really effectively in the theme page niche. Of course, with the personal brand, it can be also used by doing like a cross promotion with other people. And as I said, you can bring a new audience to your uh, whole profile, which is new eyeballs. And of course, these new eyeballs can be converted into high paying clients. And now with the strategies below, you can see how you can convert them into high paying clients. The first story selling strategy is the AVR story strategy. As I mentioned, it is used for selling through stories here. A, it stands for attention. Like the goal of the first story is to grab the attention of your audience. V, it stands for value. Here you can share, for example, your results, your students' results, give practical tips, or give any form of value to your audience. And R, it stands for relatability. You tell why should people choose you as a mentor? Why should people choose to work with you? Like this is the whole framework for the AVR story strategy. And here's an example of this AVR selling strategy. And this is like an old example when I was in the theme page business. But the whole idea here is again to give you this example to get clarity on how to use this strategy. As you remember, A, it stands for attention. Here, the goal is to grab the attention of my followers. Of course, my niche there was helping people with starting a theme pages. So the best way to do so is are you interested in making, for example, $500 a week? Of course, they're interested. Like here, it was like a yes or no pool, and I grabbed their attention. Then I gave them value, value from my results. For example, at that time, uh, free figure days are something normal for me. Uh, like you can see what progress we have came through from making like three figures a day to four figures a day. So yeah, uh, here I was like giving value to people. Then if you work with me, it is guaranteed that you succeed. Like what kind of results you can get here again, giving more social proof more social proof of showing again uh, our student results and then R relatability why should people choose to work with me and you can see here post the video and see what I did and of course every story sequence it ends with call to action this is something you want to remember and I hope that this example give you clarity on how to use this AVR story selling strategy and of course I hope that you implement this strategy in your business and the next story strategy is IERV formula I it stands for information here you can give like tips and educate your audience the whole goal is to show that you are an expert in what you do show knowledge and authority and of course you can incorporate this into daily tips highlights all further than that i would also suggest you to show your face and speak with confidence show personality and be engaged when you give this information because again people buy coaches not coaching and they want to see you as a coach and then e it stands for engagement like you can for example put uh, yes or no polls uh, get your audience to ask you a question by using this question stickers like did you find this helpful ask me anything about xyz topic and so on the whole goal here is to increase the engagement of your stories in order to get more people and of course the more eyeballs we have the higher conversion we can have r here again it stands for results as you can see the social proof is super super important show people that you know what you're basically doing by either showcasing your expertise or showcasing the results of your students. That's why it is always super important to have your own results or student results. If you don't have uh, any of them, the situation will be tough. And for student results, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can just do a few free coachings until you at least get some results that you can market. And V, it stands for vehicle. Here is again where you put the call to action. Remember, always and the story sequences with call to action because 
when you don't tell people what to do they get overwhelmed and they don't know what to do like they might be interested in what you do but the chance of them reaching out is super low that you want to direct them our brains love when we give instructions that's why stories are super super powerful and when they end up with a code to action and for the end of the video i'm just going to tell more about these stories just so you know like this is an important thing you can know consistency increases average story views which leads to follower growth on average again statistic here on average five percent of your followers watch your stories like this is usually for theme pages of course for personal brands the number can be higher but this is again on average example if you have a thousand followers only for example 50 people would watch a story on average again consistent stories are preferred by the IG algorithm when showing to your audience that's why again consistency leads to increasing the number of average story views which leads to follower growth building a loyal audience and getting more customers the whole idea here would be to be consistent with your stories and don't neglect this drop a like if you found this video helpful and see you in the next one